<laughs> oh, you're gonna give me the giggles. Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and our two cats. But first, we gotta buy a boat. So welcome to episode 37 of B -B Otherwise known as Virtual Boat Shopping. And today, we're gonna look at a Grand Alaskan 60. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, wait. But if you're new here and you don't know what the loop is, it's a way to circumnavigate the eastern United States and Canada via lakes, rivers, intercoastal waterways, and a little bit ocean. And your boat cannot be any taller than 19 feet 6 inches or deeper than 6 feet, preferably less than 5 feet. There you go. Nice recap. Thank you. So let's dive into this beauty. This is a shippy boat. This is a shippy boat. And the reason I searched out a Grand Alaskan is I asked a loop veteran if he were to do the loop on a boat with two kids and two cats, what would he do it on? And he mentioned a Grand Alaskan, a different model, <coughs> but this one is for sale and it is under, It is we can get it insured, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And so let's look at it. It was under contract a little while and then it fell out. So it disappeared and then came back as far as we can tell from our broker. 1999 Grand Alaskan, 60 feet. So for us, that's the high. That's that's as far as we can go without getting a captain, insurance-wise. And it's in Fort Lauderdale for seven hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars, which is a lot less than the boat that we previously reviewed, <laughs> which was not a that good fit. That was ten fit. feet shorter. We knew it wasn't a good fit, but it was a good exercise. We're trying to scratch every itch so that we've looked at every possible boat that we could do this on. So we know when we buy our boat, we buy our, we're buying the right one. Cruising speed, nine knots, max speed, 11. Oh. So she's a trawler. Mm. Wah, wah, wah. But you can go 1,500 miles on a tank. We'll have to see how big the tank is. 1,500 gallons, so you're getting one nautical mile per, per gallon, which is about what you expect. Uh, 60 foot length overall, max draft of four and three quarters feet, which for this shippy of a boat, that's impressive. Yeah. Beam of 17.17 to 17 feet. I get love a dance. It. It, oh, of course, you get anything over 17 feet gets the beamy boat dance. If only we could find a boat with 18 feet. <laughs> uh, dry weight 85,000 pounds. That is a hefty girl. Uh, that's like a Nordhaven displacement. <clears throat> okay, let's look at her. Fresh tank 500, holding tank 100. Three heads. I just want to see the, the salon. So beautiful. I love the looks of a trawler. Side. That's one of the prettiest boats we've looked at. I mean, can you imagine yourself right there at the helm? I can, that looks <laughs> like me. Got the anchor I want. Yeah, looks like, I mean, and the bow looks like it slopes up as opposed to some that slopes down. And its name is Susie Bell. Mm -hmm. Did you not know that? Yeah, I feel like I knew that. That's I feel acting. like it's a statement. This is great, wow, are those, Where's the stair? I don't know, but that is a sexy stern. Yep, she's bigger than the house. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a football field up there. We could throw footballs, Rex and I. Yeah, they're gonna end up in the water and then we're gonna be fishing them out. And that sounds like a really bad idea, but go ahead. Dual ground tackle setup. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Portuguese I mean, bridge. I'm telling you. This boat basically has everything. Good looking tender. Uh huh. And the tender's up top, which That's you like. That's a pretty good sized tender, too. That looks like a 13, at least maybe a 14. Yeah, the tender's got to fit all of us, too. Not the cats. I mean, occasionally the cats, but we're. Stid Helm chair. <laughs> not the cats. Okay, the <laughs> This is not a dedicated dining table up here, but you could eat up there. It's more of a cocktail table. Yep. But it could also be a homeschool table. I see. So bimini and a folding radar arch. So we don't know the air height on this, but we, Doesn't think, matter. we think it will be fine because it's got that folding arch. Yeah. If you see, if you right see that hinge, it'll, or it should. Nice. Although it's going to take a lot of strong men to do that. I love the bell. Ding, 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 ding. An inner stair there. Okay. Keep single going. stitch chair, single helm chair that's interesting for all that space, like your co-captain. I'd put another one there. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. It feels really safe. Mm -hmm. Safe and burly. Oh, oh wow. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. See, it's a good track for the kids to run around. Mm -hmm. The cats could even walk around there. Gorgeous. Okay, so you put a table back there, and you've got the aft dining that I would love to have. Mm -hmm. I love the navy. Probably got they custom made that rug there. Oh, they cut it around the fit. I would have made it a little wider. But that's just me. Great. Mm -hmm. So stairs on either side. Looks like it. Or something. Okay, and the lazarette, you got washer dryer. Not your preference, but it'll work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, keep in mind that we like to redecorate everything we get our hands on. But you have got a dedicated <clears throat> living room area. Mm -hmm. My dream boat will have a snuggerific living room area and a separate dining area. It appears to have that. Yeah, oh yeah, I yeah, I forget where the dining is. I think it's up in the helm. But that also doubles as a dining table. Yeah, we gotta redo the colors in here. Yeah, a lot of tans. <laughs> It's totally doable. There's a spot for my coffee. There's a coffee bar. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a day head right there. Now for all that space, that's kind of a small opening, you know? Mm -hmm. Not a ton of glass. And why they don't open the window. So there's your TV. Looks like it would be a fireplace. I know it does. You could put a fire, uh -huh. you know, stream a start fireplace and you got fire. Okay, so, so there's the a day, day head, head which That'd I think fun. would be fantastic. With five people living That's the day hood? Nope, it jumped okay. around. Bad, bad listing. That, I think, is the, I don't know whose head that is, but that is not the day head. VIP. We didn't look at the kitchen, but now we're downstairs. Once again, listings by Cinda. Um, that is the VIP, I do yep. believe. I haven't looked at this boat in a little while. Interesting, there's, there's a screen here, those open down, and then you go through the hatch. Kind of a... Interesting solution. Mm-hmm, but cool, shippy. Mm-hmm. A lot of poor lights, good airflow. All right, we're back to the kitchen. The galley, if you will. Okay, so I now remember, so this is, what's cool about this boat is that you're looking right there, right there, that's, that's the, the master. master. And then up and over Are we the, looking forward or aft? You're looking towards the bow. Okay, right that there. would be forward. So yes. the bow, the master's in the bow, full nope, beam? Nope, nope. Midship? It is midship, because okay. if you go up to the, the pilot house and then down, you get to the other staterooms. Okay. Okay, but it's got full like a, a full legit kitchen. Galley. Like, right. I feel like we had that refrigerator. I mean, it's got, <clears throat> I, it appears to have everything you need. There's no oven, but that would be a convection. Uh-huh, and I can't tell if it has a dishwasher. But it looks like there's room. Now, here's the kids' room. In the V? It, in the well, bow? It's in the Where bow somewhere. Okay. That's theirs. Mm -hmm. This is the, the master, master. Okay. when you go down those stairs in the galley. So a nice big size. I mean, that looks like a, I don't know what size bed that is, but it looks big. Is it a king? Because I only want a king. I don't know. Yeah, so there's the galley. Mm -hmm. Engine room access. I'm guessing. Now we're at the helm. So this table would function as your dedicated dining table. Not the best I've ever seen, not the worst. And then you've got your helm right there. And the stairs down right there are leading to the VIP and the bunks. Okay, so we would be separated. Mm-hmm, which would be kind of nice. But look at the view. And your favorite blue vinyl. It might be real leather. Leather How do you know? Proper ship's wheel. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's got bow thruster. Old radar. So there's another view of the dinette. This boat is a cross between a Nordhaven, a Fleming. Mm-hmm. So here's your favorite part of any <clears throat> boat. Uh, this is coming from the mast, no, this is a lazarette. Looking towards that towards little, tiny the, little door in the master. Yeah, so that's looking forward. Oops. Got a Westerbeek generator. Looks to be pretty good space. Doesn't look, that's not stand up, but it's spacious. Cummins QSMs. Oh. Grand Alaskan 60. She is absolutely gorgeous. She is in the top end of the size spectrum. Uh, it's a lot of boat for the money. It is, but she doesn't boogie. So for me, she'd be on the maybe list. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Let please. us know your comments yeah. on the Grand Alaska. Please Alaska. like and subscribe and pick up two pieces of trash a day. Two, 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 two pieces of trash. <laughs> Thanks for watching.